B-roll, arguably one of the most important elements of a video, and getting smooth handheld footage that pans around the subject is easily one of the biggest challenges. Not impossible, but definitely requires a lot of skill and very steady hands, both of which I don't possess. Fortunately, this little gadget here, the Niwa Auto Dolly, is here to help. Let's cut to the intro B-roll. This is Klembo from Zentech Life, where we love all things to do with lifestyle tech and gadgets. Today, I have the Niwa, or is it Niwa? What's the official pronunciation for this brand? Whatever, I'm gonna stick with Niwa. This is the Niwa Auto Dolly. Priced at $69.99 US dollars on Amazon, it's a compact motorized dolly for cameras, offering three speeds, variable angles, a USB rechargeable battery, and even an included remote control. Can something this small really produce smooth B-roll footage? In short, Yes, it really can. But before you part with your money, join me as I dive more into the details. Let's start with the product itself. It comes in this small and unassuming box. Cracking it open, there's no fancy unboxing experience here. Loosely thrown in are some bare bones manuals, a USB charging cable, a Allen key and rubber ring, which you use to replace one of the dolly wheels. And then we come to the main unit itself and also a double-ended screw mount, which provides two common screw sizes to mount your gear. Looking at the main unit itself, it's constructed with a mixture of plastic and metal. And thankfully, the most important load-bearing points are made of metal, including the hinges, the wheels themselves, and also the mounting points. You can adjust the two side-mounted wheels to whatever angle you prefer. And there are handy guidelines printed onto the arms to help you find your preferred angle more easily. The wheel at the end of the T-shaped body is the motorized wheel, and it's responsible for the speed and direction of which this dolly moves. Note that this wheel is not adjustable, and it should be treated with a little bit more care, as this is the only wheel that's attached to the inbuilt motor. Moving to the sides of the body, we have the micro USB port and on and off switch. And on the other side, we have four LED lights, with each light representing something different. The leftmost light signals the dolly's charging status, and the other three show you the speed of the dolly. Pressing the speed button adjacent to the LEDs allows you to adjust the speed to slow, medium, and high, which according to Niwa, represents a movement speed of 1.4 centimeters, 2.4 centimeters, and three centimeters per second, respectively. The last physical button you'll find is the direction button. Pressing this makes the dolly alternate between moving left or right. On the top of the unit, as I said before, you'll find the two screw holes or mounting points, which are made of metal threads inside, so don't worry too much about that. The included Allen key can be used to tighten or loosen the arms to make them easier or harder to turn. The same Allen key can also be used to loosen the middle bolt in order to extend the body of the dolly, which is useful if you have a slightly larger or heavier setup, such as a full frame DSLR or really heavy lens it will give the dolly a slightly sturdier base and thus reduces the risk of the setup toppling over. The product description for the Niwa Auto Dolly also shows a max load of 3 kilograms, which sounds kind of realistic as my Fujifilm X-T4 coupled with the 16 to 80 mm f4 zoom lens was handled with ease and felt especially stable after I had extended the length of the dolly. The included screw mount adapter is okay in a pinch, but really you'll want to grab a bore head mount to use with this dolly, as that will give you much more flexibility in terms of where you can point your camera. Having said that, if you have a larger DSLR, you may want to check the combined weight of your body, lens, and bore head mount to see if the total is still less than three kgs, just in case. Taking a quick look at the wireless remote control, it's nothing fancy and essentially mimics the controls that you find on the main unit. It has a start and stop button, a speed toggle button, and a direction button. Nothing much to say here, it works as intended and it's nice that there is an option to control the dolly remotely so I don't have to constantly reach for it. So what's it like in action? Very good actually. 
The compact size of this dolly means it fits great even on small tabletop surfaces. With some experimenting of the wheel angles, you can get some perfect horizontal panning footage, orbital footage, and even zoom ins and zoom outs. Not only does this gadget allow you to record smooth footage, but it also frees your hands to mess around with lighting. Traditional sliders are still great, but they also require you to manually hold and slide the camera along the rails. So a benefit of having an auto dolly is that it will continue to operate by itself so you can focus on some creative lighting techniques or manipulating the subject that you're filming. Are there any downsides? Sure there are. It's annoying that this still uses micro USB instead of USB-C. Also, the motor is quite noisy, so it's not great if you're planning on recording audio at the same time. The compact size of this dolly is also its weakness when it comes to rough or bumpy surfaces. It moves effortlessly on something smooth, but with wheels this small, it probably won't fare well on high pile carpets, gravel or any other surface with a bumpy texture. Lastly, for 70 US dollars, the build quality does seem a little bit lacking. I feel like 50 US dollars would be a more reasonable price and having looked at similar products on Amazon, which appear to be the exact same unit, just rebranded, they all cost the same. So at least you know that it's not Niwa themselves that are pricing this product too high. So what do I think? If you're looking for a compact dolly to help up your B-roll game and get that smooth panning footage, this is a great candidate. Especially if space and weight is a consideration for you too. This won't be completely replacing your traditional slider or large tripod dolly, as there are some situations where they will still produce better footage, but they are also much bulkier and heavier. The Niwa Auto Dolly is super portable, motorized and remote controllable. It really shines when used during indoor situations and tabletop shots. And I imagine it's possible to take some interesting time-lapse footage too. For 70 US dollars, build quality could be better, but thankfully it uses metal in places that matter. Also, it's much more affordable than professional alternatives, such as the Dolly One, which comes in at a cool $700. I even stumbled across another crowdfunded smart dolly called the Mui, but that had some pretty mixed reviews, whilst also costing $179 US for the wireless remote version, which seems a bit of a steep gamble when you can get this Niwa version for less than half the price. In summary, I can see myself using this a lot to shoot B-roll in my future videos, and my only regret is that I couldn't use the dolly itself to shoot the B-roll in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Your comments are always appreciated, so feel free to leave one down below. If you liked my video, I'd be mighty grateful if you hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more content about lifestyle tech and gadgets, then do consider subscribing, which will help grow my channel too. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.